video Mental Pants with One Cutter Runs. I'm doing uh, Streets of Rage 3. I'm going to be playing with Xan on hard. It's this game's uh, hardest setting. It's top setting. Took my life down to one. And uh, I'm going for no death. No death or bust. Let's see how it goes. It's something I've been working on for a while. Ever since I did a one credit run with Xan, I've been wanting a no death with them. And. So, hopefully I can pull it off. This is different. So we got, you know, Rogue One coming out in a couple days, and I know this is like totally off <laughs> Streets of Rage topic, but Star Wars has been on my mind a lot lately. Um, you know, uh, supposedly I was in the theaters with my parents when Return of the Jedi came out. And I ended up getting kicked out for making too much noise or something to that degree. Um, I was pretty young, you know, maybe two years old or so. But I, I was a fan of Star Wars as a kid. I liked it, you know. Um, I wasn't wouldn't say crazy about it when I was a kid. It wasn't really until I became, you know, like eighth grade age. Which is, I don't know, 12 or so. It was until I got about that age that I actually started to really enjoy it. Um, and then my appreciation for it grew, you know, when I got into high school. And, you know, I really liked, uh, I really liked Bruce Lee. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I'd watch, like, everything Bruce Lee. Uh, this was probably, like, after high school. I started getting into Bruce Lee, and I liked his philosophy. The way he kind of approached um, his view of the world. And Star Wars had a lot, especially Empire Strikes Back, and the philosophy of the Force had a lot to do with that. It was about your own personal awareness and your own intent and kind of putting in the work, the effort to becoming excellent at something and then um, once you were excellent at something, letting go and letting your reflexes take over. And for me that was really like a very big part of my video gaming. Um, and, uh, you know, I had Street Fighter 2, the new challenge or something like that. It was for the Sega Genesis. Um, it was the version that had the new characters, Cammy and DJ, Phelon and T-Hawk. And I put a ton of time into that game. And I got, uh, pretty dang good at it. And I got to the point where <clears throat> I could do things in the game that required me to shut my brain off. Because if my brain was turned on, it slowed my reflexes. So I'd have to shut my brain off so I could let my reflexes take over and just handle, you know, the, uh, you know, some of the complicated tasks. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a strange thing. Um, if that is a strange thing for you to hear, uh, I think it has to do with your intent, you know, on what 
you want out of anything that you do. You know, have you ever... It, ju it just comes down to, have you ever done something where you... You had to shut your brain off and just let, you know, your hands kind of take over because your hands are quicker than your mind is. And uh, Bruce Lee kind of talks about that. And I felt like Star Wars was... That's what they were talking about with the Force. You know, that's why Luke, you know, could uh, so quickly, you know, uh, block laser shots and things like that. It's... It's just him, you know, shutting his brain off, letting his his reflexes, his intuition, you know, his awareness of his environment, just allowing the Force to do what the Force does. What the Force is good at doing. I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, um... Yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about Star Wars a lot lately. And kind of what it means to me and how it's affected the way I approach uh, tasks. And, uh, you know, in, in gaming, I wanted to be... I wanted to be a Jedi. That's what I wanted, you know. Uh, when I was younger, that's what I fantasized about. It's like, I could be a Jedi. And Star Wars told me that I could be, that anyone could be. It was just about your intention. You know, put into practice like Luke did. Um, have the intention. And, uh, you know, become, become a Jedi. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I don't know. When I was younger, I used video games as kind of that way of being a Jedi. And so it's it's tough for me to, and I think for most people, to kind of express why we didn't like what uh, the sequels did to the concept that was the Force. You know, the concept of the Force was like anyone could do it. And... Uh, you know, even like in high school, I read a book called Tales of the Bounty Hunter, where a robot um, starts using the Force. You know, because that's what the Force was. It's something that's there. It's it's everywhere. If it's in the rock, you, you know, then you can... Uh, then you and the rock, you know, have kind of a connection together. You can move the rock. Um... And I like that aspect of the Force. And I think people got mad at this whole Metachlorian thing because it took the whole, the Force is something that's, um, that's everywhere. That's just a part of the universe. It took that and made it so that it was like, the Force is something that's genetic. You know, and, um, and you can't do it. And I, I don't know. I didn't, I don't like that. You know, I, I like it. You know, when I was a kid, it's like I wanted to, you know, if I was on the basketball court, I wanted to be Michael Jordan. Um, that's, that's, you know, who you would pretend to be. You pretended to be Michael Jordan. And every kid would do it, you know. Uh, you know, my best friend who was Mexican, he would do it. And my other best friend, who was Vietnamese, he would do it. We'd all be Michael Jordan, because that's the best. We wanted to be the best. And no one told us that. Sorry, dude. You can't be Michael Jordan because you're Mexican, you're Vietnamese, and because you're, you know, Italian. Um, nobody told us that because it's a really stupid thing to say. You can... You know, Michael Jordan isn't Michael Jordan because of his skin color, his genetics. Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan because of the concept. Because there's great players of uh, every background. We just wanted to be that concept that Michael Jordan was. And that's, to me, it's like that's what the prequels did. They took away 
they basically told me that I can't be Michael Jordan anymore. And they told me I can't be Michael Jordan because my skin color is too, uh, you know, is, is fairer than Michael Jordan's skin color because Michael Jordan's got, you know, certain genetics. Um, but really what Michael Jordan is, I mean, you know, it is a combination, obviously, with basketball and genetics. But really what Michael Jordan is is someone with intention. He had the intention of being a great basketball player. And maybe, you know, um, if I'm a Jedi, if Michael Jordan's a Jedi, he, he like, basketball is going to be his, his thing that he focuses on. And maybe that's not the thing I should focus on, and maybe lightsaber battles isn't the thing uh, Yoda should focus on, because he's so small. But you can focus on your own thing. You can find your own force. That thing that makes you Michael Jordan. That makes you a Jedi. I'm gonna get killed. I'm talking about Star Wars. But yeah, you find that thing that makes you special. And then you become a Jedi at it. And I don't think that's that's too much to ask. And it's not too too uh too much to think that some Jedi are going to be great saber fighters and others are going to be great, you know, at, uh, you know, just moving things with their mind like Yoda could, while others are going to be great at, you know, using mind control and that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's the different things because we're different. And when you, when you boil it all down to, no, you know, You can't be a Jedi. Because you don't have the Metachlorians. <laughs> Which means you can't do mind control without that, or all these other things. You can't be a Saberist. You can't... You know, these hundreds of different Jedi attributes. You will not have any of them, because you do not have Metachlorians. That is a really crappy, crappy philosophy. I mean, to go from, like, everyone is a Jedi, so long as you put in the effort, you've got the intention of wanting to be one, you know, you've got the passion for it to just find what you're uniquely good at, to, nah, you all suck. All of you suck. You don't have the metachlorians. Being a Jedi is about metachlorians. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Well, I mean, I do know. It's because Rogue One's coming out, because... Because there's a certain degree of... Jedi-ness to playing in some of these games. <laughs> uh, where you need to have really quick reflexes, and... You need to train. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You know, uh... I, there's ga certain games that I don't play, and I'll tell you right now, I don't play real-time strategy games. And the reason why is because it's really, really difficult for me to keep track of multiple things that's going on. It's hard, you know, if I've got like 30 resources that I'm supposed to be keeping track of while all this stuff's going on, I'm not very good at that. Doesn't mean I can't get good at it, but it's just not my thing. I don't find enjoyment from it. What I find enjoyment from is, you know, real-time reflex prioritization. That's what I find enjoyment from more than anything else. I like, and, and like, those are the, the attributes of people who play fighting games. So, if, you know, and that's just it. Let's, let's think about it. Like, let's say there are Jedis. Let's say I can be a Jedi, okay? What would my thing be? Well, I probably, you know, wouldn't be doing mind control. <laughs> Where I gotta, like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be doing, like, you know, general, uh, real, you know, big time battle general, you know, guy. I wouldn't be that guy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be Yoda. 
Who I, I'd be a saberist, that's what I'd be. I'd be the guy who's aggressive with a sword. Uh, you know, and is using real-time prioritization and reflexes in order to to beat his uh, to defeat his enemies. That's that's the kind of Jedi I'd be. I don't have to be able to do mind control and you know lifting objects and, and all that stuff to be a Jedi. I don't have to be able to do that stuff. You know, you can probably do it to a certain degree. I could play a real-time strategy game. I'd probably do really, really good at it. But, um... It's not really, like, my thing. It's not something, like... You know, I want to put the time into. It doesn't mean people aren't good at that. There's people who are freaking amazing in real-time strategy games. That requires its own set of skills and talents. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. So anyway, the f that's... And really, like, my complaint where... The prequels took kind of my the force out of the hands of the individual and into the hands of genetics. I think the where the Force Awakens went wrong is that um, is that Ray, the you know the main character. Uh, she uses the Force very well, but doesn't earn it in any way. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you know, uh, the lore of that will change. As, uh, as the movies go on, there'll be a reason why Rey is um, so Force adept. But they didn't tell us why, you know? So all I see is that Rey... Um, Ray kicks butt with the force, and she didn't earn it in any way. She didn't put the time into it. It's like, you know, I've been playing Streets of Rage 2 since the 90s. Y you know what I mean? Like, since 92. I played that game the year it first came out. And I've been playing it ever since, on and off. But I, I put a ton of time into that game. It's a difficult game. Uh... And if, you know, if I started playing with somebody who was playing it for the first time, and they just started killing at it, um, I, I, I'd just be like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like, how do you even know how to do this stuff? You know, how do you even know that your character is capable of these things? How do you know, how do you understand the, you know, that, uh, you know, the Galzios are going to be moving in this fashion if you're moving in this fashion. How do you know, like, that you're, like, oh, there's so many intricacies to it that go into it. That somebody who's, you know, like, like myself, not to get, not to get cocky, but somebody like myself who is good at something to a ridiculous degree, it's, it's something, it may be something stupid, but I am ridiculously good at Streets of Rage 2. It's ridiculous. It may be stupid to you, but it doesn't matter if you think it's stupid or not. You, No one can deny that I am good at Streets of Rage 2. And to me, when you are good at something, you recognize what it takes to be good at something. And for Ray to... Uh, with no effort, with no... You know, she didn't put any effort into it. She didn't put any practice into it. So, I think, you know, that's, it's like a, it's kind of like an insult. It's like a slap in the face to, to people who, 
who put work into getting good at something. It's people who practice at something. It's it's an insult to, you know, to Michael Jordan, to, uh, you know, Maggie Walsh, the uh, volleyball player. Because these people put in years of practice to get good at something. And they understand that you don't just magically become good at something. And when you do, it's, it's you know, in a story or in anything, it's bad writing. <laughs> you know, that's really what it is. It's, it's just, uh, it's insulting. It's insulting to, to have someone that good at something for, for no reason. And like I said, maybe that'll change. Maybe it'll change. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't change, and that's like, that kind of scares me a little bit, like... Like, you're not gonna fix that? You're not gonna f fix that huge hole? Like, you're, you're basically saying Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan his first time playing basketball. That's not gonna happen. His first time playing basketball? Michael Jordan probably couldn't make a shot, you know? If his first time playing basketball was as an adult, he, he wouldn't be able to make a shot. Like, he wouldn't know how to dribble the ball. You know, these are like things that took years, you know, eye-hand coordination and, and like relatable skills to get good at. You don't just magically get good at these things. Anyway, I don't know. I'm really, really trying to get this guy. I promise. Talking about Star Wars too much. But for someone like me who, you know, who takes these philosophies maybe a little bit more to heart than I should. <laughs> but they I think they've shaped some of us in how we approach life and how we we try. You know, we put um, dutiful effort into things. Because we recognize that that's that was the message. The message was, I'm Yoda, I'm small, look what I can do. You know, because I believe in myself, because I put the effort into it. Because I have intention, I have character. Because I try. Try to do something. It's okay if I fail, but I'm still gonna try to do it. And there's something like wonderful about that. And then, it, and then it became like, you know, like, well, this guy's good because uh, he's got a ton of the googly gooks in his bloodstream over here, and that's all it takes is the googly gooks, you know. And if you don't got the googly gooks, you suck. And I don't suck. That's what I think. No one, none of us do. Because I'll tell you right now, I ain't got no googly gook in my bloodstream. There's no metachlorians in my bloodstream, I'll tell you that much right now. But I'm still a Jedi. Dangerous. Come on up. Ooh, couldn't actually tell which way it was going from the train. This is a pretty stressful level here. Up, up, up. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, you know, that's what the prequels did. They took it out of your hands and made it a genetic thing. 
It basically said Michael Jordan is good at basketball for no other reason other than, you know, his skin color, his, uh, you know, his height. Those are the only reasons why he's good at basketball. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be there if he was, you know, if he was only six foot tall. And maybe he wouldn't. But they're basically saying, like, it's impossible for him to even, even try it. Don't even try, Michael. You know, you're, you're six foot tall, you know, not six six. Forget about it, man. You, you don't got it. You know what I mean? But here's what it's really saying. It's not so much even the basketball thing. It's really saying, hey, Michael Jordan, uh, you know, you don't, you don't got the right, you don't got the right stuff. You know what I mean? You don't got the right stuff, so you're not going to be good at any sport. And not only that, it's not just the sports. You're also going to suck at math, too. You know? Because you don't got the genetics, your math skills are going to suck. It's like, wait, what? And you're going you're gonna to suck at English, too. You know, you can't use mind control, you can't play basketball, you can't saber duel, you can't do math, you, can't, you know, this is all, you know, you can't do that stuff because you don't have the metachlorines, sorry. You need metachlorines to do math, to do the, you know, the brain stuff. The stuff of the force that Yoda did was the, the mind stuff. You know, and then Ray came along and it was like, now you don't even have to try. That's that's what happened with Ray. Now it's not even about trying. It's like, if you get the force, you're like, you either have it or you don't. And if you have it, you're gonna you're gonna start day one better than people who have been practicing it for years. People who can dead stop a uh, laser bolt in midair. And just leave it stopped there for a minute while we're having a conversation with somebody, like not like nonchalantly, you know. Like, hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh yeah, you know, we're gonna have a good time over here. Just like stop the laser bolt and then just have it like restart back up again. Like, like this guy, somebody who's like, like mind reading people. My, first of all, mind control in in Star Wars is not something that works on everybody because uh, you need to be using it on somebody who's like who's like weak willed you know like if someone's intelligent like Jabba the Hutt my mind control doesn't work on him because he's got willpower he doesn't want to be mind controlled like Obi-Wan said it in the first movie it works on like the weak of mind and, like stormtroopers are, are they're weak minded Like the weirdest Star Wars rant ever. I don't know why I got into this, but I just it's just been on my mind. And like I need to talk about it. <sighs> Ray made it so you don't have to try, that's what she did. She made it so like you just you're just supposed to be good at it right off the bat. I just I don't know. Maybe they'll have a reason for it. I'm just I'm complaining for no reason. But I don't think they're I don't know, I don't think they will. I think it's just like they just, it's like, the, we've already seen the Force stuff so much, we've seen all of it, like, it's, it would, I guess they thought it'd be boring or something to, to have somebody start fresh, somebody start with the Force fresh, they never really showed Anakin start with the Force, it was like, he was like young, like, way too young, that's like, we met him, like, way too young, he does like, no Force stuff at all, you know, he does like, the whole, like, Oh, there's a, there's a ship, like, where they, like, are showing him, like, the deck of cards, you know? And he's like, oh, that's a, that's a this, that's, you know, doing that whole, like, cheesy psychic thing. <laughs> it's a ship. It's a deck of cards. It's two guys. It's, uh, you know, 
They're like, is it two guys or is it actually a horse if you look at it like this? I don't know, this kid, he doesn't really have it. You know, it's an optical illusion. It's like an ink blot. You got him like the ink blot test. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a guy kissing a woman or something. I don't know what that ink blot's supposed to be. You know, this kid doesn't have the force. He's seeing stupid crap. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. Make it so Ray at least, like, I don't know. I would have liked it if she at least had to try. Like, she learns a couple tricks and then, like, tries to use them and gets her butt kicked by an actual, like, Sith, Sith Lord. And don't, don't tell me Kylo Ren isn't a Sith Lord, like, he's not, like, fully trained. Because, like, even the movie said he's not fully trained. The guy stopped the freaking laser blast. Like, midway, I've never seen that. I've never seen them stop a laser blast and just hold it there. That seems pretty high level to me. That's bigger than anything Luke did in any of the movies. I mean, think about it. Like, what's the biggest thing Luke did? The biggest thing. Like, he was good with, he was good with the saber. He could block, like, lasers and stuff like that. What's the coolest force thing he did other than lifting a rock? Like, you know? He didn't even use the force while fighting that, that Rancor monster in Jabba's palace. Luke didn't use the force against that thing. He used the rock. That's what he does. Luke's, <laughs> Luke is the rock Jedi. That's his whole thing. He only knows how to use rocks. He, he lifts rocks with Yoda. He throws rocks like to, to you know to close the gate on the Rancor. Luke doesn't know how to do anything Jedi-ness. He just uses rocks. That's it. He's the rock Jedi. <laughs> Oh, classic. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I mean, those are my complaints. That's my complaints with Anakin. The Metachlorians is my complaint. <clears throat> and Ray just having, like, epic force powers for no reason. Like, why does she have force powers all of a sudden? Why? She's learned them way too quick. It'd be likened to you trying to play basketball against, think of the worst NBA star you can imagine. But they're still in the NBA. That's the whole thing. It's like, you, normal person, you play basketball against the worst NBA player who's ever lived. You know? Uh, <clears throat> but they're still in the NBA. They've still been playing basketball their whole life. They're trained in this thing. They put effort into it. You're just a random regular loser who's never even like, you know, who's barely like touched a basketball. You even have more training probably in basketball, I'm assuming, than Ray had in force abilities. This this is really where the where, where the tricky part of it comes. You, if you've dribbled a basketball once in your life, you have more basketball experience than Ray has force experience. Doesn't that bother you? Then that she's beating a Sith Lord. Even if he's the worst Sith Lord ever, he's still a Sith Lord. He's still a Jedi trained apprentice. And he gets beaten at a saber duel, which is his thing. It's like beating a basketball player. Even though he sucks at basketball, he is a basketball player. He sucks compared to other basketball players, not compared to normal people crappiest NBA player would demolish me at basketball. Demolish me at it. It wouldn't even be a question. It wouldn't be like, I wouldn't stand a freaking chance. I wouldn't probably make a single shot against the guy. He'd steal the ball from me in an instant. He would just be making fun of me the whole time. That's really it. I mean, I, you know, there'd, just, there'd be like an audience there watching just like laughing at me while I try to beat this guy. I'll even up the ante, okay? Michael Jordan, let's say Michael Jordan has never played basketball before. He's never dribbled the ball. He, you know, this, this whole basketball thing is a completely new thing to him, okay? He goes up against the worst NBA player ever. So you know, Michael Jordan's got the genetics for this, right? He's got the height, 
He's got the uh, speed. He's got everything he needs. He's just never played basketball before. He goes up against the worst basketball player that's ever lived in the NBA. I'm telling you right now, this NBA basketball player would annihilate Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan wouldn't stand a chance against them. Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan because of effort. Effort is why he's Michael Jordan. Otherwise, everyone who's six foot six would be in the NBA. I gotta stop talking about Star Wars. Like, I mean, literally, it's just like four levels of me just talking and ranting about Star Wars. Probably driving people crazy. Oh, well, there's a good chance I won't know death this, so then you'll never have to watch this video. That and I will be shutting up on the next level, because it's going to be way too hard to be talking. Alright, five's really tough. It's the hardest level in the game. Uh, six has got the hardest boss, but five is the hardest level, in my opinion. Grab it. Let me. Ah, sword. Gosh dang it, the sword. go the turkey way. See how this goes. <sighs> really? I'm trying to get these guys uh, dead real quick. actually happens in about four different sections. It's four different sections of those kickboxing samurai kind of guys. So what I'm going to try and do is take each of those sections one at a time rather than pushing too far forward and getting all of them at once. Let's see if I can keep that guy there. That's not good. Okay, so there's like section two, basically. You know, each section kind of has the Donovans, the Galsios, and then a uh, pair of the kickboxer, kind of whatever those guys are. Okay, here's the next section of them. A little bit dangerous because these guys do a ton of damage. I can get Donovan killed. I don't want to get Donovan killed, I'll tell you that much right now. 
All right, so that's three. That's third section. So we push forward to the last group of guys here. Okay, so the worst thing that could happen is one of these guys steals that turkey down there. Do not do that. Uh, that should be the last of the guys, so I'm just going to come down here. <sighs> super, super nerve-wracking. This guy is really fast. Okay. Cut through that. Now on to a another really hard section. <sighs> oh, I was hoping to grab you, buddy. But you didn't let me, so. Mm. Come on, do the move. Dang it. Get it closer. This is dangerous. Cut them all off beat with each other. Okay, on to the next section, which is still pretty dang tough. I mean, there really isn't like easy sections here.
Here we go. Just gonna punch down this guy. It's just safe. Um, it's real easy to lose a considerable amount of health and then to be in the position where one or two hits um, is gonna kill me. So, since I'm doing good, I don't, I don't want that to happen. I am a little bit nervous. I wish I wasn't. It uh, does affect my playing. I'd much rather be calm, but I'm not. is a little bit more strategy than skill, but I can still get killed uh, pretty easily, so I do have to be careful. Okay, this guy's not coming at me. Man, this guy's really milking it. Alright, I think that's it. I should be getting a couple signals now. these heading down to the bottom this way I trap the uh, samurai ish kind of guy I don't really know what to call him thank you for not hitting me that was awesome of you We both missed each other. Get 
that. Okay. Onto the elevator. Another really difficult section. Five, man. I really did not uh, make this easy. There's a chance of my turkey getting stolen by some of these smaller guys. They have a, uh, they have the opportunity to steal my turkey. It happened to me last game. I got this to this point, no death. Gotta be careful here. Okay. A couple guys here that can steal my turkey, so. dead. I think he is the last of the turkey thieves. I don't know, maybe I'm not about that. Oh, yep. For the elevator at least he is. Painful. Dang it. Giving me more trouble than I wish. Okay. Hmm. I'm at that crossroad of do I grab the turkey now or do I kind of wait a little bit? <sighs> if I wait, it can get stolen. <sighs> Just gonna grab it now.
You and me, X. You and me. <clears throat> No death, one through five. Sorry for all the red on the timer, but it's just the way it is. Gotta be a little bit more careful when I'm doing this. Alright, I'm going into six. Do not do this. Don't do it. It's a lot of health to lose in that first stupid section. Whoa, how did I not hit that guy? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Dang it. 
So I'm gonna get that other fruitcake. Or apple, whatever the heck you wanna call it. We're going here because uh, getting that apple in here, I think getting the one outside actually leaves me with full health instead of the gas burning it down. Just gotta be quick. Okay, full health going into the boss, no death so far. <sighs> so long as I can keep my cool, I, I might be able to pull this off. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, get the turkey. Come on, get him. Too high, it's a little too high. I don't like that. It's okay. Okay, seven. This is this is still a tough level. This is not. I am not done with this yet. How did I not hit this freaking guy with the sword? Come on, come on.
No, you're kidding. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, man. <sighs> I should not have had that much trouble with that guy. If I get the ninja here, it's gonna be bad. I'm going for the apple here, just because I need it. Whoa, what? Ow. Wrong way, dude. Whew, I knew seven was gonna give me trouble. It's uh, there it is. There's my death. It's the one I train for the, the least. Um, it's actually an easier level <coughs> than uh, five is. But I just had such a terrible start. And uh, I can't lose health like that. That's that's all there is to it. I cannot lose health. So, great run, but uh, seven just ruined it right now. That really stinks. I, I don't even understand how this guy jumped. You know, <clears throat> this ninja when I was like punch spamming him, he like jumped and hit me. Really, I need to like have full health getting that uh, apple. Anyway, my health needed to be, like, where it is now. Oh, 
course, seven. Of course. <sighs> Should have been the easier level only. Oh, should have been an easy level. That start was just so bad. Really, if I put a little bit more practice into seven. Yeah, not even a lot, you know? I mean... Oh, so, so close. Such a good run until, until that death. Mm. Such a good run. What a shame. That's a real shame. I really wish I had done it. I really do. Oh, I'll get it. I mean, it's like so close. I'm so freaking close I can taste it, man. I'll get it. Oh, heartbreaking. Such a heartbreaking failure. <sighs> trying to figure this guy by himself. Oh, man. Guys, this jerk keeps shooting at me. That's that's too soon. Dang it, that's too soon. You know it's too soon. These guys take off a ton of my health, man. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh gosh dang it, stupid. So stupid. That's two deaths on seven, man. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just messing up now. It's like completely lost the will to play.
I don't know where this guy's at health-wise, so I want to grab the turkey, making sure that uh, he's not like... I mean, I'm close to dead. <sighs> Two on seven, man. Oh, I gotta work on seven. It's like... It's just never enough, man. It's never enough with this game. Such a good run, no death all the way through to seven. Uh, it's not that hard either. I mean, it really isn't that hard. It's just. I mean, seven's hard. I'm not gonna say it's not hard. It's not that hard. Or, like, if you can beat five and six, man, you like seven, sh sh you know, shouldn't be too big of a deal. But. It's still, you know, still got a good chance of killing you, I'll tell you that much. Jeez. Hmm. This is what playing bad looks like. No death on the boss, which is good, but two death seven, which sucks. <sighs> two death seven. I gotta work on seven a little bit and just iron it out and perfect it. <sighs> Gosh dang it, man. Oh, my gosh, I really wanted it. Oh, man. <sighs> I guess I just, you know, if, if like, you know, one of the runs I do, I'll, I'll do like a no death seven, and it's like, well, I couldn't, you know, it's just combining it all together. It's like the toughest part, just having that great run. No deathing seven is, has not been. A huge issue for me. <sighs> but it is an issue, you know? <sighs> I keep thinking five and six, you know? Five the whole level, and then six just the boss parts, what's gonna do it to me, but... <sighs> I neglected seven a little bit, and I shouldn't have. I should have been running a little, at least one or two sevens, just to iron out some of it. Um, uh, I mean, I've ran seven, I just... I just haven't run it in a bit. Oh, oh, oh man. Doing this is like, it's just, I really want it. I'm not going to be happy till I get it, but <clears throat> it's like torture up until I do. All right. <clears throat> well, anyway, this is a video you're never going to see. So I didn't do what I wanted to do. I'm going to have to pants one credit runs.